thank you for watching this video. Uh, in this video we're going to go over a tutorial series that covers the community builder. This is uh, something I've gotten a lot of requests on so I thought I would dive in and kind of show you guys um, the basics of what each area does and then hopefully that will give you enough foundation of knowledge to develop your own um, systems and applications from it. So uh, to get started, and I've got other videos that talk about installing Community Builder and how to get it uploaded, but it's going to once it's uploaded and you're logged into your backend, it's going to be found in the Components section, and there's Community Builder. So click on that, and when we're in here, the probably the most logical place to start is on the far right <laughs> under Configuration, and the reason why is because this is going to house a bunch of tabs right up here. Each one of these tabs is an area to configure and um, I'm not going to go into each and every single field because there is an explanation on every single screen on the right hand side to the right of the field to explain to you exactly what it is. Now the, the key here, and I've, I've mentioned it on another video, but you want to have exactly what you want to accomplish and how you want this to work kind of mapped out already um, on paper preferably so that when you go through each one of these fields and you read the explanation as to what it's for it becomes very easy to answer because basically this is just a question like name style it's asking you what name style do you want to use a single name field first and last name field or first middle and last name field so um, that's what each one of these tabs are going to address the first one is general information. The second one has to do with the registration process and what's required. You know, an important one here is uh, re require admin approval. Yes or no? Clearly, if this was a very small site and manageable just by you, you might want to say yes, so that way no one can really abuse your system and put an appropriate material on there. However, if you've got an incredibly large site, this may be unfeasible, in which case you might just rely on an abuse department and allow other users to report themselves and kind of have it user regulated. Um, you've got parameters about user lists. It's uh, pretty simple on this one. This is going to relate to this field up here or this tab, list management, which is uh, going to allow you to categorize different profiles and different members in different ways. But basically, it asks you, you know, how many users you want per page. Um, the user profile, again, it's just uh, giving you a lot of options on how you want to ma manifest a user profile, allow access to, who do you want to be able to see these, this prof these profiles that are created. Right now it's set to all registered users, but in this case I'm going to select everybody um, because I want everybody to see all my members, let's say, from you know, the purposes of my business model. Um, when you go over to images, this is going to be uh, basically an area that handles how images are treated and how thumbnails are created and what dimensions. You've got some moderation options. Right now, by default, it's set to administrator, and only the administrator or someone with those permissions are allowed to moderate the um, community that's created. You've got some other yes or no options down here. Again, very simple with explanations out to the right. Um, you've got connections. This is basically going to cover how users can connect with themselves if you want that functionality. By default, out of the box, enable connections, it's set to no. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that because diving into that is a little bit, uh, it's kind of its own own section because there's whole separate plugins, modules, and components, uh, some specifically for Community Builder that, that address additional features there. So, uh, but typically, you know, unless you're going after kind of a MySpace type feel or a Facebook where users can talk with themselves through your system, uh, you would enable connections and set this to no or on the enable connections field, just leave it at no. And then on integration, finally, there's not a whole lot here. Uh, I would just leave this the way it is, out of the box. Um, there's kind of an explanation here that talks about when we get into uh, tab management and plugin management that different things can show up here. But for now, just uh, getting started, visiting your configuration, the important thing is to already have your business model in place, what you're wanting to accomplish with having uh, enhanced user profiles on your site and then basically addressing each one of these tabs and every field within them 
to get the global configuration settings for how the rest of this is going to work set up. So this kind of constitutes our foundation. Let's say if we're like building a house, this is kind of the first thing you want to do. Lay your foundation, you want to address your configuration settings and get that the way you want to go and uh, set those up how you want to. So the rest of these fields, user management, tab management, field management, and so on, will um, have these uh, changes and configurations applied to them and that's going to really affect in a core way the behavior of your, your uh, community or social platform. So that's going to conclude this video. I'll see you on the next one.